Welcome everybody and this is the fourth episode of the strategy guide and this time I will play SSI with Aqua. What up everyone? <laughs> um, if you want I can begin as an attacker because in this mission uh, the one who has a great advantage is uh, the attacker at least in the last part where you have to check the HQ. Um, so for the first two parts as a defender uh, it's dogfight fight so you just have to go as quick as possible to destroy both fighters and just not stopping throwing missiles missile 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 with without stop and for the second part western frontier will have a bomber so there you have really to focus your fire on the on the bomber and some players because I have already seen it, some players use the fighter to crash uh, into the bomber or to block the bombs or to take personally the bombs to avoid that the water turbine is uh, would have been destroyed by the bombs. It's quite complicated, but <laughs> and okay. but the most difficult point for Tundra as a defender is to defend the HQ. Why? Because Western Frontier has a lot of units and have a, and they have a bomber, so you have an A vehicle, you have some assaults, grunts, and a light tank. Your most important unit is the A vehicle, obviously, and the assaults, because the this is so simple, but so important at the same time. Without the units, without grunt units, you can't capture the HQ. So. If you use your assault to destroy all the grants of the Western Frontier, uh, you can hold, you can defend yourself against the bomber because without units, without ground units, the Western Frontier player can do nothing. Just, just wait. So, yeah. In this mission, when you can, take the assault and uh, try to kill every ground units and try to kill first the bazookas because they are the only uh, units that can really harm the AE vehicle. So no bazookas, no AE vehicle destroyed, so no bomber. So it's... and obviously the helipad. There's a helipad um, in the middle of the map. Really try uh, to take that helipad because um, it's not 100% but 99% of the times the player that has the helipad wins the game. Because um, people think that the helipad is just a reinforcement, just like one time, but no, it's a permanent reinforcement. So you will be fighting, if, if the other player has the helipad, you will be fighting against a superior uh, army in terms of number, of quantity. So, and it's very difficult, it's very difficult. If it's already very difficult to defend yourself against a Western Frontier with a bomber, imagine with a uh, superior army. Uh, yeah. yeah, so in the first two parts, go as fast as possible. Just don't don't let the fighters alone. If you want, uh, what you can do is to destroy the fighter controlled by the CPU because as you already know, the units that are not controlled by, by the player has uh, have less life, so it's easier to destroy them. So it's obvious maths. One fighter will do less harm than two fighters. So, and then you can concentrate your fight. Your, sorry, you can concentrate your fire with your two fighters into the one fighter controlled by the by the player. Okay. Yep. So, this is the main strategy. While we are playing, I could give some advices. And then, when you will play Western Frontier, I will give you the tips to play as a Western Frontier player. Okay? Okay. Sounds good enough. You can start. So I start. So I start as a Western Frontier player. Yeah. So really, Thunder. you are defending. So the main rule is to making me waste time. So don't let me alone. Just go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Okay. Yeah. Storm the palace. Or maps where the spawn can be can reappear in your back, 
are the only exceptions. Here, this pound is not a problem. So just go for me, okay? Okay. Oh, we go. Destroy both objectives and capture the Thunder HQ, Commander. Clock is ticking, Commander. You have only eight minutes to complete your objective. I mean, to take down the the fighter control by the CPU has the advantage that is uh, easier, but the advantage to shoot at me is that um, my fighter, uh, because it's controlled by me, will do a lot more damage than a CPU fighter. So you have to take a decision. You want to make it fast or you want to make it um, harder, but the award will be bigger. Oh, you're, still, you're still not going for the. Oh, I thought you were going to the bomber. You did not. So you concentrate all your fire into the bomber. Got so many fighters on And you see, I, I'm not hesitating to destroy the water turbine with fighters because uh, a lot of players I think that fighters that. Uh, can't harm the water turbine, but they can. So don't hesitate to reuse every unit. Okay. Okay. Okay, so helipad. Ah, uh, I took the helipad. Oh my god, my guys didn't do anything? No. You have to go personally. Okay. Okay. I mean, in I was more most of about the, the times, bomber. Most of the times, your CPU are useless, so... Okay. Okay, I thought they would at least do the very bare minimum. But they did not. <laughs> There's no way I can turn this back. I thought they would at least do that. There's no way. You got more no. units in there. You see? It's it's very yeah. very difficult to, to defend. Oh, I'd have to do it myself next time. Yeah. I, I honestly thought they would at least do that. No, no, no. I mean, the, the problem with units trying to capture a flag or something is that if it's not really, really, really a clear way, they will just stop and, and begin to shoot units. So that's oh why you have God. to go personally. Okay. To, to capture okay. the flag. Okay. So, as a Western Frontier player, obviously the two first parts uh, go as fast as possible. In the first part, um, shoot with... Um, I think each, each uh, barrage balloon takes four shots, four or five shots. So, when you know that you're going to destroy it, 
uh, go to other, go to the other one, so we can win time. Okay. Okay. So you want to get one? You just want to get them low. What? Sorry. You want to get them low? Um, or you just want to strip the stray Um. I mean, it's the same. I I tend to shoot four times, and if it doesn't kill it, it will remain at like one health. So. Uh, oh. While I am I'm turning, I can aim to another uh, random air balloon that is at one health and just shoot a missile. So it's the same thing. Because uh, people tend to slow down and shoot, 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 but um, it's too much. So it, it can be a waste of time, but we're not... Do you worry about your other fighter? Do you like tell him to go kill all the barrage balloons? Do you split yourselves up or no? Well, um, it's, sometimes I... I send the fighter to another air balloon, and sometimes I send myself and the other one to the same uh, barrage balloon, so we can go faster. It depends. Okay. Um, don't barrel roll if you don't have missiles behind you, because you can't do it all the time, so just do it when you have to. Okay. And in the bomber part, obviously, take control of the bomber, fly as slow as possible, and in one run, um, I mean, if you, if all the bombs uh, touch the water turbine, it will remain at one health. And while you are bombing the second water turbine, your fighters can finish that one health turbine. Okay, so don't waste your time coming back to a turbine to throw eight bombs when it's one health. No, because the fighter can handle that. So you can go to the second one and then apply the same thing to the third water turbine, okay? okay. Um, for the third part, um, go to the helipad. The helipad is really important. Um, I'm guessing I do that personally myself. <laughs> and as you okay. saw, I, I went personally. Before that, I went faster with the bomber and I just bomb everything so you have no ground units to capture the helipad. Because and light tank. Oh, you start the bomber, then you bomb, then you switch, then take the helipad. Exactly. Yes. And once, and once you take the helipad, if it's the case, your bazookas to destroy the A vehicle, and then the rest to capture the HQ. If you're controlling a unit, a ground unit, try to um, destroy either the A vehicle if you're controlling the bazooka. Or either the assault if you're controlling the, the ground and the flame. And when you have the bomber, take control of it. Because a bomber controlled by a CPU, it's not it's it's not useless, but it's not what's it's not as efficient as um controlled one. Okay? That's good. Yep. Okay, so rematch to change sides. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, here we go. And I'm gonna choose to go to your fighter, the one controlled by you, because me it it can it can add some pressure to the to the player because he has to barrel roll, turn and shoot at the same time. Oh, you can barrel roll. You can barrel roll. It's not letting me right now. I don't know if it, it's not letting me. Oh. Oh no, it's not letting me. I'm in the button. I don't know why it's not doing it. Right okay, that's why. It's my other button. Suffer, Aqua. Only two barrage balloons. 
Oh no. Oh, you're one miss, one shot left. Is that well? Yeah. There you go. My precious barrage balloon. Now. They are all I'm not focused on that. Let the enemy bomb the turbines. Fly low, fly low, fly low, fly low, because you're taking all the missiles. You have to fly low. There you go. And try to bomb the second one. Fly low, fly low, fly low. And while you have no bomber, don't shoot at me. Shoot at the port termites. That's right. That's right. Oh, they're all low. Okay. There's an attic for Only one turbine remains. No. No. Hey, finally, like I got it. Activated to gain Whoa. That wasn't the best spot to bomb. You know, I saw your guys come in, that's why I went through there. No! Oh, it's right there! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! <gasps> what? You didn't get it? You did not. Oh, damn. You got him. So my solution when I don't have any A vehicle is to, to shoot your, your bomber with assault. No.
come on, come on, come on. No! My god, I'm blocked. No! <laughs> I did it! Bravo. Even that was heavily favored though. <laughs> you see? Bomber OP. No, and the helipad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And the helipad. You see? If it's possible, you know I'm... You know I'm, I'm a very good player, nah, nah, nah. It's possible. It's possible. Yes, I 100% agree. Yeah. Oh. I tried so hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And me too, I, I was getting my best. Yeah, of course, yeah. It was fun. Okay, okay. so this is the episode of ACSI, so congrats to Aqua, and see you next time for the uh, next episode, uh, Cold War. Hey, bye. Yes.